GearNetwork.com. The following is a presentation of the Gear Radio Network. What's up, rockers? This is the rock star Robbie Vegas, professional wrestler and host of the All Bets Are Off podcast. But right now, you're listening to the Fantasy Football Bros podcast. So take it away, Chaz. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You are now listening to the Fantasy Football Bros Podcast. What's up, Rock Soldiers? And welcome back to the All Best Rock Podcast. Took a little week off there, but we're back, and I am not alone today. And this is actually going to be a dual episode, and you're about to find out why. It's your boy Chaz, and welcome to the crossover event of the millennium. It's the All Bets Are Off podcast slash Fantasy Football Bros podcast. And to my left, I am joined by... What's up, guys? It is the no nickname, no nonsense, Adam Van Houten here, hosting the show today. Here's the deal. I know you're wondering why All Bets Are Off and Fantasy oh, Football wait, Bros... On. Oh, one, two. We've had... Three. We've had injuries with that before. Be careful. <laughs> oh, yeah. The one that Cheers, broke. guys. <laughs> Cheers. A nice little break, but we're back to it. Yeah, so why we're doing this crossover? Well, see, it's not going to make sense to you. This has nothing to do with football, and it has nothing to do with rock and roll, horror movies. Or wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> uh, we're, we're just, <laughs> this is just well, a maybe, crossover. Maybe a little wrestling, because, Robbie, from our understanding, you just got back from a nice... A little vacation in Brooklyn. I did, I did. I, I got the call to come to Monday Night Raw again, and um, yeah, I, I got to film a little segment in let a fancy a, five-star restaurant. Hang on, let me get a basket to catch all the names you're about to drop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't want them to hit the ground. I'm going to keep it. The only basket we want is from Chris Jericho. <laughs> yeah, he's, he hasn't sent us one since September. So... I got to do another segment with Rey Mysterio, Dom, and uh, Rhea, and Ray's lovely wife, Angie. And, uh, <laughs> picking those up, sorry. Just... <laughs> and it was cool, man. And actually, so Adam asked me before we started recording, so I'll answer it now. It actually was a real five star restaurant. I'm not even kidding you. This place was beautiful. And the crazy part about it is, it was inside the Barclay Center. Wow. And it was gorgeous, man. Like, we walked in, and I was like, is this always like this? <laughs> like, I really thought it was set up for TV. Nope. That is the restaurant in the Barclays Damn. Center. They, yeah. they, but they didn't let you uh, you scum eat. They let some of us eat. <laughs> I, I was not one of the people. I had to wait for the catering. I, as everybody else was, was eating and having their small talk, I was looking over a wine menu for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you find any wines that you like? I did. They were all from Italy. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> I hear those are the best ones. Yeah. Sweet. I like a sweet wine. I do, too. Yay. I do, too. So guys, Robbie, uh, nice job on the 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 raw uh, weekend. Yeah, you know, yeah good it was for fun. You. What are we doing you? here? Where were you? What do you mean? You went to to. Oh Orlando. yeah, <laughs> where was I? I was like, I was home watching your segment. <laughs> 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 Yours was a week before. The though. week before, yeah, I did. Yeah. I did my. I get for all you that don't know, I got uh, really into roller coasters this past year because I'm gonna be honest. I was a big puss about them and was afraid of them. Hmm. And I've decided to force my way on them. And I went and rode, and we went, me and my niece for our birthdays, went to Universal Studios and I rode the brand new Velocicoaster, which is absolutely insane. Like, absolutely insane. Highly recommend. So it was a fun little trip. Literally flew in, went to the park, flew home. Well, I'll tell you what. Adam brought these Angry Orchards for us, and uh, happy birthday to you. So cheers. Hey, cheers. Happy birthday. How old are you now? 58? Yeah, I'm about to, about, not yet, but I'm about to be 37. Nice. So, Good for you, man. So 37 birth- long years. So, I haven't gone anywhere, <laughs> in case you guys were wondering. That's cool. You're holding down the fort. I will be going somewhere. Where are you going? I'll be at the end of March. We're going to visit country music superstar Eric Van Houten. Good. Maybe you can get my money from him. I'm going to work on it. <laughs> I'm going to work on it. Hey, you got to take it up with him. I've been. Um, <laughs> so the reason we're doing this crossover event is because... Yeah, uh, guys, what, what are we doing here? Football's over for me. Yeah. So there's really not much to talk about. There's always something to talk about. We'll and, figure it out. And me and Robbie always like to do these like lists, but we, we've realized we haven't done a draft in a long time. Long time. It's been a while. So it's, and I wasn't on the last one. Were you on the last one? What was the last one? I, don't even I think it wasn't it wasn't it your your um 
the one that you did with Mitch and uh, that, Joey Casada. Oh my god, I believe that was, was, I believe that was the last one. Yeah, that was a while ago. A long, that was long a, time ago. Well, didn't, no, didn't we do one of our either cartoons or TGIF after that? Yeah, I don't remember which. I don't know one. if it was out. I think we did ours before. But either oh. way. Well, here we are. Here we are. And I decided, knowing if we're all a fan of this, and there's a lot of fan of this in the world, so we're going to do a draft on the best, our favorite stand-up comedians. Yes. I'm excited about this. This is okay. going to be a good one. Yeah. Now, the rules are, guys, not comedy actors. Yes. Right. They have to have... Stand-up comedians yes. who, who have probably transitioned into the acting world, mm-hmm. but their main career path was a, being a stand-up comedian. Their, their start was being a stand-up comedian. And my, on a stage in front of a bunch of people in a small venue. My rules, the way I looked at it was, you look at somebody like Will Ferrell, you know Will Ferrell from acting, sure, he's did some stand-up. Nobody would call Will Ferrell stand-up. Right. Somebody say, like, Drew Carey. He was both. Right. Drew Carey got his show because of his stand-up career. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of like, that's the, the, the way oh, we look at it. I just thought of one. I have to write this down real quick. <laughs> hey, Drew Carey. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't. He's adding Drew Carey to this. So, Adam, you got some cards? I got some cards in front of me, guys. I already shuffled them up and mixed them up. Host, Robbie Vegas, why don't you go ahead and draw the first one? This one's to, calling to me. To determine your order. <laughs> oh, He shit. always picks the third. 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 <laughs> that is incredible. He always picks I can't the believe you called that. Yeah, he always does. Are you a prophet? That, Maybe. Was, that was real, too. Like, so, that so was, for the people legit. listening, that was legit. So let me grab my ace here, right? My Go ace ahead. Let's see. Deck. Oh, oh all I got right. Deuce. Baby, no. she was worth a deuce. Honestly, I wanted to get third because the two guys I want, I was hoping to get back to back. So we'll see. Here's the thing. First sucks because I have a lot of picks before me, before my next one. So we're doing five rounds. We are so there'll be a total of 15 stand-up comics, and we're going to talk about, you know, what we think about them, our thoughts about them, if we can, you know, if we've memorized a quick bit or whatnot. <laughs> oh, man. You know, that, that's so the many. thing, too. It's like, for instance, when I mentioned Drew Carey, Drew Carey's not going to be on my list because I don't know him for stand-up, so I'm not just going to yeah. throw him in there. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. Like, so it's got to be somebody you love, and I know these guys love stand-up, and I certainly do, too. I definitely do. So, uh, well, we're kicking it off with the no nickname, no nickname, no nonsense. No nonsense. That's me, guys, in case we're wondering. Out. All right, Number you, one pick overall. Pick. Now, this is going to be a tough one because I was, to be honest with you, I was really hoping for two because I knew that I could get this guy, maybe. But my first one, I have a question for you guys. Do you guys know what the seven dirty words are? Oh, you son of a oh, bitch. Already. Wow. Already snaking me. Really? Already? Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. Alrighty then. Favorite, Do you know what they are? That's my favorite. I don't know what it is, but he's my favorite comedian of all time. He is... A v- absolute classic yeah. legend in the in the comedian world. Uh, uh fuck shit ass. Wait, eat. Uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> shit piss. Shit, fuck shit, cunt, piss, cocksucker motherfucker, motherfucker and tits. tits. Yep. Shit. You want to tell seven, everybody who you're talking about? George Carlin, <laughs> number one overall pick. Yeah, and he's well worth it. He would have been mine. So I was debating on two. I'm gonna wait on the next one. But George oh. Carlin is just a legend. legend. And and you know. It was a really sad day when he passed away yeah. all those years ago. And everything he talks about, like, if you listen to his 80s and 90s and early 2000s shit, talking about... Uh, none the, of it could be aired today. Well, <laughs> but just talking about how the world is getting soft and how the government is just trying to betray you. Like, I'm not getting crazy tinfoil hat conspiracy stuff, but he's right. Yeah. yeah I remember in his It's Bad For You segment... I think that was like 2005. He's talking about, you know, kids are getting soft with the participation trophies and this world is getting soft. And and look at it now. Yeah, I agree. And Mm -hmm. speaking of stuff that you probably shouldn't say in 2023, but one of my favorite segments that he does, or his bits that he does, is the the list of people that should die. (laughs) (laughs) And going through that list and hearing it in just the different ways that he wants to kill them. And who should die is just absolute comedy. I love it. I have a whole bunch of his vinyl records. I love them. I had a bunch of his CDs, his his DVDs. Like, he is my favorite comedian. Him and the guy I'm going to pick were my two guys that I was struggling with. So that was going to be your first pick? Maybe. Actually, what I I was saying, I said I was going to go and pick this other guy first because I thought Carlin would get to me, but I I was wrong. All right. I was completely wrong. Do you have any memories of Carlin? Did we ever know him? I, I was briefly when I was a teenager, but I kind of fell out of it. He as, was before our time. Yeah, yeah. He was but as, as I discovered, like, the comedians from our time that I really got into, I kind of fell off from him. But, yes, I think I, that's, like, I mean, maybe I shouldn't speak for everybody, but I feel like he's, like, the gateway to stand-up comedy. Yeah. That was kind of my thought process on the yeah. number one overall pick as well. I feel like 
if you really want to get into stand up, at some point when you go down that rabbit hole, you will wind up on George Carlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I was whoever, gonna... whoever you're searching for will eventually lead you down that yeah. path. So. And there's a few other guys too that I'd throw into that category that I won't mention just in case you guys are going to pick them, and I don't want to yep. talk to no, talk no. about them too soon. But there's a couple other guys that I would throw sure. into that same category. Yeah, we'll get to them. So the uh, way the way we're, well, I'll move on to my pick, which yeah, I'll two. break it down is overall George Carlin's my favorite. I think he's the, my favorite comedian ever overall. But my favorite, like, special. And, like, what this artist has done in his career. But overall, and I know Robbie knows this one. Let me let me give you a quote, Robbie, and see if you can now, now, now who this is. Uh, just sprinkle some crack on him. I knew you were going to say that. So I actually <laughs> purposely did not put Dave Chappelle on my list <laughs> because I knew that you were going to try and get so, him first. <laughs> I had him on my list for oh sure. My yeah. God. But I didn't expect him to go in the first round. Oh, my God. He yeah. is. Uh, but well-deserved of it. Killing Great him pick. softly. Killing him That's softly. That's my favorite one, Killing him Absolutely. softly. Absolutely. Is the greatest... I think the funniest stand up like special ever. His stuff about his stuff about like Sesame Street. Yes. Bird, I'm sick. Yeah. I need some snack, bird. And so the only reason I didn't I, I I knew you were gonna pick him, but his his more recent stuff is still funny, but it's not as good as killing him softly. So that's how I'm, do you top right. it? Right. Yeah, that was his best one. Or hands like, down. Or and like then he went on a little hiatus for yeah. sure. years. Or like the baby in the nightclub yeah. selling weed. Yeah. Yep. Like, on the corner, on the um, corner. And then I he got, was in the nightclub. Yeah. I got kiss of feet. I got yeah. kiss of feet. Oh you know, I knew I was said, I knew I was in the ghetto. You just it's got all this ghetto stuff. Gun store, gun store, liquor store, gun store. Where the fuck are you taking me? <laughs> Let me say, I saw a baby on the corner, so I cracked the window. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so this, like, to me, like, I can quote this to this. I probably haven't watched it in 10 years. This is from 99. Mm-hmm. This oh, had yeah. such a big impact on me. And, like... We used I, to quote it all the time. It's hard-pressed to find. You can maybe argue one guy, but it's hard-pressed to find a comedian that got his own show that was better than The Chappelle Show. That's true. Yeah, like, that's The Chappelle true. Show Absolutely. for the three seasons were top fucking notch. And he was smart, and he left on top because he knew he could only go so long. I, I do Ooh. agree with that. And his totally. his last few were funny, but Killing Him Softly was just so good. Yeah, yeah. that was the best one. Dave? Dave. Dave. I'm going to race I'm going to race him. <laughs> Uh, oh, the I, guy couldn't, didn't even I, couldn't, I couldn't say shit to the guy. Yeah. Chip turned his music up. We're not gonna take. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a great special. And We used to quote that all the time, yeah. nonstop. And that's nonstop. that's one that you can watch 10 years from now and still laugh your ass off. Yeah. It's already, I love that. God, 20. It's already, yeah, it's already been. Four years old? Holy yeah. shit. Whatever, dude. We're getting old. Whatever, man. dude. We are getting yep. old. <laughs> I was in New York City. Now, I was hanging out with a friend of mine. He's a white guy, you know. We were just hanging out. And, and we were lost in the city, you know, we were smoking a joint. Now, I don't know if it was a coincidence that we were lost and high and shit, but... <laughs> my white buddy, he was smoking a joint. Dave. Dave. It's the goddamn cops. I'm going to ask him for directions. I said, Chip, no! Chip, don't do it! It was too late. He was walking over there. This man was high as shit. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Touching him and shit. Excuse me. I need some information. Uh, start confessing things he shouldn't confess. I'm a little high. All I want to know, which way is 3rd Street? The cop was like, hey, take it easy. You're on 3rd Street. <laughs> you better be careful. Go ahead, move it. Move it. <laughs> and that's all that happened. That's the end of the story. <laughs> now, I know that's not amazing to some of you. Sure I are. guess it's my turn. Two, back so, to back. Oh, that's right. So I don't have to be pick. as careful as I thought. So I think I know. I it's think important. I might know. Give one us of your round picks. one in port. I think I might know one of your picks. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna let you say them, and then I'll let you know if I was thinking them or not. I got I got two that are that might be in jeopardy, but I got one that I really want to pick first. <laughs> take them, take them first. Well, you have two picks. 
All right, so I'm actually going to go with uh, one that I think is safe, but I just really want to say this guy first is Sebastian Maniscalco. Okay. I okay. love this guy. I think he's hilarious. When he tells stories about his Italian family, I relate. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> so funny. The things that he says are just, they're so true, but the way that he says them, and I, th- I have the same thought process as this guy. When he talks about how much he hates people and the reasons why, I'm like, hmm. yeah, yeah exactly. yes, me too. The, his newest special is out on Netflix. Actually, they're all on Netflix, but the newest one is just as good as the other ones. I'll and, check it out. I'm you know, super familiar with talking them, about so. how his kid goes to school with somebody who identifies as a lion. <laughs> oh my god, it's one of the funniest things. They call him Rory. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Honestly, I'm not too familiar with him either, but he's been someone I've been meaning to check out. He's yeah, so good. I've definitely heard of him. I've never checked him out, but I'm definitely going to go watch that special, so we'll see. Well, I, I don't want to ruin it since you guys haven't you know, really dug into it, but for anybody listening who has, like, you can vouch for me. This is this guy is just absolutely fantastic. He's been around forever. Yeah. he's He's got, like, five oh, or I six specials know, I definitely on know the name. Yeah. And he's known for... Stand up comedy. Sure. He's, he's not known for his movies. He's right. not in movies. He yeah. doesn't. He's not a movie actor. He's not a TV actor. He's a stand up comedian, yeah. and he's just fantastic at what he does. I highly, highly recommend. But since I have two picks, one of these is in. Both of these are probably in Jeopardy. But Ooh. don't take mine. <laughs> don't take mine either. Kevin Hart. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch! It wasn't going to be my next one, but how okay. could you go wrong? Right. Kevin Hart, I literally started watching him when he was doing those 15-minute specials yeah. when Comedy Central used to do uh, Friday Night Stand-Up. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they still do that or not. They don't. Who watches Comedy Maybe. Central? Well, well, I, I don't only, even know if Comedy Central exists anymore. I only I watch know. it when they have a South Park marathon. On. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> Kevin Hart, he's been around forever. He was absolutely fantastic as a stand-up comedian. Com- Transitions agree. into movies, great Goes back to and still does stand up comedy yeah. and is absolutely fantastic. You're gonna learn today. <laughs> You're gonna learn today. My bullshit <laughs> is your bullshit. <laughs> wait, 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 Gosh. wait, wait. Kevin, no. No, no, I think, no, 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 no. I remember one of my favorite ones from back in the day was the way that my bank account is set up. I got to check in some yeah, savings. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's because when your best friend is Dwayne Wade and he rents out all of Disneyland, <laughs> moves money around. <laughs> what can you, like, I, you can go on and on about Kevin Hart. Oh, yeah. He's, I think. He's perfect. Yeah. Well, when he talks about his mother. Yeah. And how, you know, just religious she was and, and just, dude, the way he does his comedy, he's very animated, he's very loud, he's very, but it's, it's just all comes together into one amazing show he's so based in reality though yeah like, he, the stories he really he's is. telling are real stories yes. yes he just puts it's, his twist on yeah he it, definitely know? puts a twist on it but that's what makes it even funnier mm-hmm. and i every time i see one of his specials i just die so was he on both your lists he was, on he was list definitely sure. on my list definitely. i was i was debating on going him next but i got somebody else in mind it's probably mine <laughs> well, maybe okay i'm in nebraska I'm doing a show in nebraska i had to pee so i'm on the side of the road i'm peeing right I get done peeing, I look to my left, it's a big ass ostrich looking at me while I'm peeing. He was standing on one leg like this. His body was facing this way, but his head, his head was like this. Now, I didn't know what it was, so I didn't say anything. My friend got out of the car, he's like, yo, what's that? I was like, I don't know. It's like a big ass man pigeon. I don't know. I don't know what it is, right? He's like, that ain't no man pigeon. I was like, it is a man pigeon. He took a pen, he threw an ink pen at it, right? As soon as he threw the pen at it, hit the ostrich in the chest. As soon as he hit the ostrich, his other leg came down. His body was still facing this way, but his head, his head was still like this. Now, when, it, when his leg came down, this is when the bitch started to come out of me a little bit. I was like, you know what? We should, um, we should, we should probably go get back in the car because, because we don't really know what that means. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that could be a sign. That could mean like you got 10 seconds to get the fuck out my face. Before I kill you, I'm gonna eat your kids. We don't, we don't know what he's trying to say. So let's just get back in the car. We say, well, I was not gonna take him next because I need to get this guy on my team. Uh oh. And this is gonna snake you, or you're gonna be like, fuck, I didn't think about this guy. All right, hit me. And that is gonna be, and it's a little different, but yeah, I definitely consider this guy a stand up comedian, though he does it through music and his guitar. And that's gonna be my boy, Stephen Lynch. Wow. Is on my squad. Okay. Yeah. I should have saw that coming yep. because yeah, you definitely love did not see that one coming. I absolutely love Stephen Lynch. I remember me and Robbie discovered him right about the same time. Yeah. And we were both but well Robbie was already playing guitar, I was learning guitar. Mm-hmm. We always like comedy. So like honest to God, like 
80% of my first year of learning guitar was like Stephen Lynch songs. I remember that. He literally helped me learn all my like cowboy traditional chords with all of his songs, If I Were Gay, uh, Superhero, um, uh, what's, the, what's the one? Um, uh, what's the big one? Big Fat uh, Friend. Lullaby. Big Fat Friend. Um, Special friend. Lullaby was the good one. Yeah, lullaby. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Lullaby. Yeah. Um, and like, I have followed this guy. <laughs> From like ninety eight, ninety nine. I mean, that's so, a good. I'm like, I'm listening yeah. to his music in my head. Me too. Right yeah. now, that's I'm, why I was laughing because I can <laughs> yeah. hear him. It's my big fat yeah. friend. Yep. So what? That you're a cow. I know you anyhow. <laughs> to this day, I still do some of his songs. I'll do. Um, I'll do um, back down to the old pub instead. Yeah, yeah. About, yep. about having menstrual sex. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. And I'll do um, I'll do it if I were gay. I don't find that song offensive. No, it's not. Um, what's the one? Uh, the gynecologist song. I was just gonna say yeah, that yeah, it's yeah. Doctor Steven. Doctor Steven. Doctor that Steven. was it. Yeah. Doctor Stevenson. <laughs> I love putting women's minds. I think. I think one of my favorites is Craig Christ. <laughs> Craig. I forgot about that. Craig. Forgot about that one. <laughs> that's that's that was always a classic and for he, me. And he even as an artist has like transformed himself to being sing songy. To when he came out with like Three Balloons, it was a little like uh, gospely, and then he came out with Lion, and that was like. What's like hipster music? Kind of. Yeah. There was there was like banjo, and and he hooked up with Scott Stapp's wife was like his oh really his chick with him on there. Um, and then wow. I, I kind of fell off after um, Lion. Lion was probably about ten years ago, and because uh, then he really went into the political route, and I was like, all right, all right, we're done. And his yeah. music turned into like his album after Lion. Just he's every song sounded like Bob Dylan. I got you. And so it's kind of cool to like have one song sound like Bob Dylan, yeah, yeah, but yeah. not every song. So like Stephen Lynch to me. I mean, as funny as he is, he's fucking talented. He can sing. He can write a song. He plays guitar great. Mm-hmm. So Stephen Lynch, I'm very happy to bring to my team. All right. All right. I like it. You're up. This is good for me. This Uh-oh. is good for me because now I have two picks and I can get both the guys that I want. One of them is going to be one of mine. I know it. It might be. But I know it. Here's what I'm, here's what I'm going to say. I have recently been binging a TV show. That was very popular in the '90s, and I am going with Jerry Seinfeld. Okay, that's good. Ah, he's on my list because yeah. I have never watched this show from start to finish. I've I've always seen a show here and there, but I can't quote it like a lot of people can. Mm-hmm. I'm beginning to see why people love this show so much. Hey, who drafted and, that show in the draft? Yeah, either? shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> uh, that was your first pick, wasn't it? That was second my pick. second pick. Yeah. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld and I just the, the watching the show and when they when they show the clips of his stand up comedy in the beginning yeah. and it just I crack up every time and I think it's well deserving of a second pick. Adam, I'm putting I'm putting on the spot. Do a Jerry Seinfeld impression. Oh God, those are oh, hard. Oh yeah, see you put me on the spot. Come on, come on. <laughs> come, on, get, come back to me. We'll come back. Robbie, to why do they call it a restroom? <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, here, I can do a good already. Um, what is the deal with cell phones? They are not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't bad. That's actually pretty I good. Do it kind of good. It wasn't bad. It wasn't yeah. bad. <laughs> so uh, I love Seinfeld. He was on my list. I have later on my list though, because I'm going to be completely honest. I I actually had a couple of his, his stand ups, but in my personal list, he's not my favorite stand up. So All like, right. I he, he would have been drafted me if he was there later. I got a couple guys in mind too that I still think I can get laid but that you can get laid maybe okay. <laughs> what they is might be the able to deal get me. with safe sex <laughs> <laughs> who's your next one my next one this is kind of like a maybe a little sleeper because he's he's pretty he's pretty known in, in the, the acting world but he definitely definitely got his start what is the deal with these drafts <laughs> a, as a stand up comedian and made his debut in Living Color Ooh. Jim Carrey. He's on my list. That's, that's fair. He was on Jim my list. Jim Carrey is number three, and I love every movie that he's been in. He's a fantastic actor, but his stand-up in his early years when he was just beginning and coming up in, into the comedy world yeah. is absolutely hysterical. I agree. I and, agree. And to get discovered on this In Living Color show is just incredible. It, he's such a good actor that... My memories of his stand-up is completely gone. So not me. I love his stand-up. Yeah. I still kind of watch some of it sometimes. Um, he's also an amazing human being. Have you ever heard the way that he, like, the interviews he gives and the way that he talks he's about this? Well, Canadian? of course. Yeah, he is Canadian. Sure. Yeah. So, of course, he's a good person. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> What's up, Canada? How you doing, girl? 
I'm telling you, man, like that he was on my list because I thought the same thing. I was like, you guys will never think of that because everybody forgot how good his stand-up was because so his good. movies are so good. Yeah. But no, he's a great, great stand-up comedian. He Love is. It. And I, I remember him just being like absolute insanity. Yes. Yeah. And he and can make a, these and, faces. Yeah. And he's another one. And he's another one that's very animated in his shows. Yeah. And it makes it that much more funny to visualize what he's saying mm-hmm. as he's also doing whatever. And you're right. He, he actually I, – I watched an interview with him. He actually trained his face and manipulated his muscles in his face by doing it so many times to, to be able to manipulate it like that. Wow. Like the Grinch was one of, the, oh yeah, was one uh, they were talking about in the mm. interview. The way he smiles, like that was all real. Yeah, his face was that. Like he, he just do that. Yeah, 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 he just does that. It's, it's incredible. And that's the thing. Like I do, like a, I can do like a lot of impressions. Like you do have to like transform yourself in your face. You just don't sit there. And like yeah. doing oh, yeah. the mouth, like if you're doing that, like when he did like Clint Eastwood, like he would get like it'd be like, yes, Rrr. that was yeah. one of his good yeah. ones. Yeah. That was one of his best ones. He did Clint Eastwood. He did Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Yep. And he um, looks like and, them. and he looks like them yeah. when he does and it. And he, he kills it. To. And he kills it. I, I agree. I mean, it's a good pick. Like I can't talk about a standup, but I mean, we all know about his fucking movies. Oh, growing up watching Ace oh, Ventura, yeah. Ace Ventura and the Mask. the Mask is my like, one of my favorite movies of all time. Ace Ventura is always going to be one of my. I shouldn't have been watching it when I was at you. No, hundred percent. Dude, I saw Dumb and Dumber in the theater. Dumb and Dumber was fantastic. Yeah. Yep. That's actually Dumb and Dumber too. Liar, can liar. We, can we also liar, liar was great, but can we also say when he did the number twenty three? Amazing. Uh, that, oh my god, totally Amazing. different role for him. It, it was so good. It was I also grew comedy. up watching. It was a serious, it was a serious drama movie, movie yeah. and like to, for him to be able to transition from mm-hmm. being a funny man mm-hmm. to to this role in, in the number twenty three was just. And wow. then, he, then he played Robbie Vegas in one movie. He might. Yeah. Have. <laughs> the fucking, Upcoming. No, the fucking. Um, Fabulous Burt Wonderstone. Oh, right, right, he right. looked just like fucking Robbie. <laughs> he really fucking did. I the don't... Truman Show is underrated too, Agreed. and I, I did grow up watching a me, lot. Me, myself, of... and Irene is just yes. great. <laughs> yeah. A lot of in living color for me. Honey, I love yeah, for sure. Like I've had sex all night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when he was Fire Marshal Bill and like, yeah, oh yeah. Stuff, yeah. Let me show you. Let me tell you something. Again, another face like just <laughs> yeah. ran that by his face. The dog used to lick the, the dog so, was yeah. eating the shit off. I totally recommend anybody who hasn't seen any of these comedy specials. Seriously, go look them up and you will not be disappointed also in living color a lot of those guys that were on there were some of the greatest stand-up comedians of oh all my time. god agreed some of the greatest yeah, stand-up comedians and, of and they time. they have great careers yeah in that early 90s and saturday Night live at that time oh yeah, yeah for that's sure. what Definitely. saturday Night live for was sure. pulling dana carvey adam sandler chris rock yeah all yep. those david spade guys. david yep. spade yep. chris farley got yep. all those guys yep. so like now we're gonna move on to my third round pick and this one is a guy i could have picked earlier but I didn't know if I'd get lynched back. So, uh, along the lines of Dave Chappelle, a lot of comedy about his family and Kevin Hart. A lot, a lot of com- more like Kevin Hart, sorry. Mm-hmm. Family comedy and all that stuff. And all of this guy's, like, I'm like stuck in the past, like 10, 15 years ago, I feel, with all my picks, but I'm going with. Cat Williams. You son of a Ooh, bitch. Ooh, good one. Good so one. He, I just, was, <laughs> he was on my list for sure. Oh. And I didn't think that anybody would pick him. Now I was yeah. hoping to get him in like the fourth. I love Cat Williams. And so he, do I. He's a can't miss com- stand up comedy for me. His movies couldn't tell you anything about. Really? No, honestly, yeah. Okay. I, I liked him in Friday After Next. Um, he had a couple good ones in yeah, there. Yeah, but Friday After Next wasn't a movie that he starred in. No, he, but he, he was had a just great role. It, yeah, you know, and I think that was probably a lot of his roles. Really, they were. He was never like a he star, was, he but he was not. Yeah, he's, he's not an stand-up actor. Comedian. He's a stand up comedian yeah. who. They just needed somebody to fill in this funny part in a movie. It, he's so funny. His but he's voice, fantastic. his voice, his delivery. Yes, and like he's like and he's kind of like Kevin. Yep. He's a little guy. Yeah, yeah. small guy. Little guy talks like about real world, real yeah. world shit like, all the time. I think my favorite. Skit have you from seen him? his latest one? No, on I Netflix. Yeah. It is absolutely hysterical. It is. It's really good. It is good. It's not as good as his previous ones, you know. But this one is really good. I, I think totally my favorite recommend it all. skit from him is when he talked about like uh, partying with Mexican people <laughs> and getting stuck there yeah. just doing the mariachi or doing like a like a dance yeah. just like when will this end and he's just doing the dance I, just, I think I liked uh, I love when he was talking about uh, the different strains of weed that you get yes. now. And it was, uh, this is called death. You mean if I hit this, I'm going to die? <laughs> no, death. You no, take two hits of this, this you, you can't, can't hear, hear shit. shit. <laughs> I got shit to do today. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we used to watch that one all the time yeah. in your basement. Yeah. And he, and that he, was just he, the, the go-to. Oh, and, dude, throw on Cat Williams. Dude, throw on Cat Williams. And kind of like Jim Carrey. He's very, like, wild and yeah, crazy. Very and sweaty. He's a yeah. sweaty fucking guy. He was yep. always, yep. always just sweating yeah, because he's putting everything into it. So... I, I was very. I'm very happy that I got Cat Williams and Dave Chappelle. Oh, I won. 
Oh, um, man. What? Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Just sprinkle some crack on it. It's me. Yeah. I get three and four right now, right? Yes, yep. sir. Two in a row. Rockstar. All right. Uh, I don't know if this guy is a sleeper or not. He could be on one of your lists, but I'm going with Chris D'Elia. Yeah, he was on my Ooh. list. Yeah. Be uh, careful. It, he's canceled. Is it D'Elia or D'Elia? Uh, D'Elia, but he's canceled. He's back now. I actually went to see him in Rochester, and it was one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen. He was seen. on my list for sure. Yeah, all of his stand-up is great. Uh, I, lo- I well, lo- his kind of he's, special, he his can be extremely awesome. offensive, sure. and I think that's why I like him so much yeah. because he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, right. You know, which is why he got canceled. Well, but he uh, fought no, it. No, no, he he's not canceled. But. He's not canceled anymore. He's he's back. Yeah. <laughs> but um, fantastic. Place. And I loved his acting. I actually, totally yeah, forgot and Whitney. About he was in Whitney, and totally then he, forgot about Chris. Then Chris. he it was started a show with um, Brett Morning called Undated. And I thought that was good. Yes, he wasn't yeah, undateable. That's he right. He did both yeah. those shows, and it was great. But his stand up is fantastic. Robbie has a man crush on him. It's okay. I think he's fantastic. Yeah. I really think he's fucking hilarious. He is hilarious. a handsome devil. He, well, he's fucking funny, man. He's and like, very funny. The way that he that he tells these stories, and again, kind of like Sebastian Maniscalco, he's very much based in like why he doesn't like people. <laughs> and I completely agree. And I, I, I see a trend here with the guys that I like. It's, they yeah. always hit my heartstrings. And I'm not right like the curmudgeons. <laughs> <laughs> and Delia's been around a long time. Yeah. He's been around a long time. I remember Magic watching him with you. Yeah. You mashy? You mashy? Bro, I don't have to imagine. I'm right fucking here. <laughs> yeah, he's great. That's a great pick. He was on my list probably a little later, but he was definitely on my list. Nice. Okay. So I, I did. I totally forgot about I guess him. we do have a lot of crossover. I, that was, I wouldn't that say was a really snake good. me, but I mean, because he was lower on my list. But. So um, I'm picking number four right now. Yeah. yeah. So I only have two picks left. Yep. Yep. And I still got a lot of lists here. I have a ton of them in my head that I'm thinking about, and I'm just like, man, I can't pick them all, but I want to pick them all. I know. Same. Same, same. We probably could have went more rounds. Um, we'll see where we are at the end. You know, I got to go with Jimmy Fallon. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I absolutely love Jimmy Fallon. Talk I'm about a huge great fan. at um, at impressions. Great at impressions. Great. Uh, he and does the music speaking shit. Of, yeah. He does a fantastic Jerry Seinfeld. Have you ever heard yes. his impression? Yes. I, I was Seinfeld? gonna bring it up earlier. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. My impression of Jerry Seinfeld is is Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon's yeah. impression. <laughs> That's what it is. I love watching him on the Tonight Show just because yeah. you like just because it's Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, I also you love when he does the Bee Gees. Yeah. He's got a great impression well, of him uh, with JT, man. Yeah. Exactly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Barry Kibb. This is my show, and this is a no-nonsense show. <laughs> all, and yes. all, all the shit. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. He, he's a great musician. He had a, he put out an album of all his skits, and it was great. Yep. Uh, like uh, I have the greatest uh, SNL Jimmy Fallon DVD. Oh. Yeah. Uh, didn't didn't he make an album or, a, or write a song just to prove that he anybody can get to number one? Was yes, that Jimmy he did. Fallon? That was Jimmy yeah. Fallon, wasn't it? I think it was the, during TRL. Okay. It got to number one on TRL. It was Idiot Boyfriend. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> because I'm an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take you out. <laughs> yeah, he's great. I love Jimmy. Absolutely. It wasn't on my saying. list, but. Not on my list either. I, I, you know, I got so many guys here, and there's yeah. I'm going to regret not picking one we, of them. We, but... we can do six rounds. That's fine. I'm we'll ready see. To go. We'll Six see. rounds, maybe. We'll see I don't know. We'll see. I, I still think 15's good. We're going to talk about Chris Gullo's five. And that, and then maybe we'll do some honorable mentions. Oh, uh, is Chris Golo on your list? Oh, I'm throwing, Ooh. I'm throwing you. If he's listening, yes. If he's not, no. <laughs> he would have been six. <laughs> he would have been six. Just missed it. Oh, he was number seven. He's just a bit outside. <laughs> Definitely top ten for sure. Just a bit outside. He does actually. I'm in. I'm in one of his bits that he does. He's 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 definitely a top ten comedian from the Buffalo, New York, Rochester like area. It. Oh, he's hilarious. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. For sure. If I, if I'm being honest, he's really really good. Yeah, and sure. I actually am in one of his bits, and it's a true story, which makes it even funnier. Yeah, he is funny. I do yeah. like him. All right, um, back to me, right? Yeah. Yes. Is this your final? Nope. No. We're in round. We're, we're in, in round, round four. four. Oh, that's right. I kicked it off. Okay, so I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with a guy who is quite possibly one of the biggest comedians in the world right now. Shit. And as I hope fun- this isn't where I think and as going. funny as he is, no, I'm, probably, I'm making a little hate on this one, but as funny as he is, he makes it. More funny with his little friends that he brings on. Oh, yeah. you son of a and I'm bitch. going with Jeff Dunn. No, that was my next pick. He is absolutely my next hilarious. pick. This is the most crossover we've had in any draft. Unbelievable. This is Jeff because he's Jeff Dunham. I literally last year, just about this time for my birthday, I went to see him at the arena. That's downtown. good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Jeff so, sold out. Sold out. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> <I came. laughs> 
<laughs> and like, as like, so you get, you'll get the comedy. Are you my virgins? <laughs> you'll get the comedy snobs that hate him, and you'll get like the like. Oh, he's fantastic. The ventriloquism scut snobs that hate him. I think the best thing about he he makes all of those yeah. puppets. Yeah, he makes them all. He voices them all. Yeah, he voices. Well, obviously, he turned Walter I mean, into Biden. Yeah, like, yep. <laughs> Walter is fine. Walter is fantastic. Actually, he was on my list only because Walter reminds me of George Carlin. When okay. Walter, when Walter did the, I can't remember which special it was, and he's like, "What happened to you today? I got in an accident. What happened? <laughs> my wife jumped on her menstrual cycle, ran my ass right over." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Walter is my favorite man. He, Walter, he's so good. Dude, Walter, Peanut's awesome. Peanut, Bubba J. But it's just me, Senor Jalapeno. Senor Jalapeno on, on a stick. stick. My favorite. <laughs> like peanuts might be my favorite, but like. Did I say peanut? You, you I said, said peanut, right? You, you no, said, you said peanuts. I said, you said peanuts. peanuts. Right? It sounded like peanuts, my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> but there is just this, this yeah, love great. I have for Ahmed. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Ahmed's great. Ahmed, and then there was that time that he had his son, AJ, yeah. who was gay. Yeah, yeah. And I it was love, just so funny. I love Bubba J. Bubba, Bubba J. J, yeah. Let's Bubba J. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> I love Bubba J. Bubba J is great. Walter's fantastic. Walter, I think, is probably... He's, he's the best one. He's definitely the best I one. think if you guys are going to look for Jeff Dunham, and you're probably hating on him and shitting on him, is uh, I think his best special is the Christmas one. I was just going to say that. Agreed. The yeah. Christmas one, he was just firing on all cylinders. Yes, he was. That. Peanut's amazing. Bubba J's amazing. Ahmed singing Jingle Bombs. Guitar guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just love it. Um, guitar guy, actually, I told you this before. Do you remember who he is? No. Guitar guy is actually the father of a Venge Sevenfold guitar player. Oh, cool. Yes. Very cool. Yes. So, love it. We so, now interrupt this program for a non sponsored event. <laughs> so, I'm more than happy to make Jeff Dunham on my team. So, thank you. <laughs> Jeff Fafa. Jeff Fafa. Oh, Jeff Fafa. You really, really suck. <laughs> <laughs> I actually Great have a Jeff Dunham was, and Peanut uh, Pop Head. He Dude, was yeah. my absolute next pick, and I'm very upset that you took him. So, who do you got? You got two picks. I do have a backup, though. You have two picks right now. I do have two picks. But my first pick is a guy that goes by the machine, Burt Kreischer. Okay. I don't know if you've ever watched any of his specials. I have. Yeah. Or, this guy is absolutely hysterical. And he's another one who talks real world shit. <laughs> and like and his laugh is just... The way he laughs and the yeah. way he... The, his, his signature is coming out on stage and taking his shirt off. And the crowd goes crazy. <laughs> and look up his comedy specials when he when he tells about taking Russian and mistaking it for Spanish. <laughs> and he goes on a Russian trip and joins the Russian mafia. It is absolutely hysterical. You will piss yourself laughing. Bert Kreischer, welcome to the team. I'm pretty sure Bert Kreischer was, or the movie Van Wilder was based on based Bert on Kreischer. his life. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Yes. That is a true story, yeah. and I'm pretty. I think he talks about it in one of his specials. I like, but I'm I not like, positive. I but. can't say anything about Burt Kreischer's comedy because there's certain comedians that yeah they do they do stand up comedy, but I like their podcasts. And he's just one of the guys. I like his podcast. I listen to his podcast. Yes. I like his interplay with people. Uh, you know his pot, and he does a lot of stuff with like Tom Segura and stuff like that. And Tom. It just he is so funny his laugh is contagious. I've I've been following him for a long time. Yeah. I just wish I could uh, just talk more about his comedy cuz I'm more into his podcast. So, yeah. sorry for me to say anything. Go watch his comedy specials. I, should. I believe they're on, they're all three of them are on Netflix. You should be able to, they're about an hour each. It'll absolutely hysterical. Netflix Have is, you ever watched them, Robbie? I have, yeah. Netflix oh, yeah. is like great Incredible. for comedy. Yes. Uh, lately, that's pretty much what I feel they focus on. Yeah. Which, you know, for the price that they're charging right now, they should give me some fucking good I, comedy. I canceled. Yeah. Did you? I canceled. I canceled the Netflix. Wow, you canceled you the canceled flicks. You canceled the canceled. I canceled the cancel. Canceled wow. the flicks. Well, Adam, well, look, we're well, going to go into round six. So right? here's the thing. I don't know. We're, I don't know. I think we should do five. All right. I was hoping to end Jeff Dunham Burt Crusher. Okay. So now you totally threw a wrench in my system. You're welcome. You son of a bitch. But you have another. But I do have another. And he's I don't one of mine. <laughs> he's, I don't think he is one of yours. Uh, I'm going with Bill Burr. Okay. Not one of mine. I, I actually am not a fan of Bill Burr. Really? Yeah. I've, I think I've watched he a few of his specials. Hysterical. He is funny. I can't get into it. Really? I don't know what it is. Something about him. I just don't like it. I love I love it. That's the I first one we've talked about that I don't like. I, I think he's absolutely huge. Hysterical. He's one of the he's biggest, one of the he biggest comedians in the, in the world right now, and just yeah, he he's got great comedy specials out there. All right, and yeah, I, I, I can't it. give you much back with his specials. I just he's never stuck out to me, but he is funny. Yeah, well, I, think I just can't sit there and quote. He's him definitely. 
I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to quote them either. I just I've seen the specials. I think they're hilarious. Mm. Definitely worthy of a sixth round yeah. or a fifth round pick. For, absolutely. For sure. I mean, that's so. probably a lot of people's first round pick. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I'm just just not for me, man. I don't know what it is. I, I've watched the specials, and every time he has a new one, I watch it. I just can't. Oh man, I should have went with somebody else, but that's okay. No, you got you. This is fuck him. It's not about what he likes. No, that's okay. That's I have show. somebody else too, but kind of this half but my I'm show. Right now. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> half our show. So what what do you got? So round five, you know, there's a couple of because Robbie won't let us go into sixth round. So I'm trying to decide <laughs> here. Um, I'm gonna go one that there's a slight chance it's taken from Robbie, but it also might be somebody Robbie forgot about and overlooked. All right. And I know it's somebody you're gonna be like, oh man, or you're gonna be like, oh that was my next pick. Um, so it's another comedian from about 10, 15 years ago because I'm stuck in the past. Okay. Probably okay. Apparently, well, my, mine that. are all from longer ago than yeah, that. Yeah. So. so. Well, Adam drafted George Carlin and came out in the 60s. Yeah. So um, I, it is a guy, you want to talk about impressions and, and throwing your voice and being wild on stage. Ready, Rob? I'm going to give you a quote from it. Uh, uh, from it. Ready? Um, what's, what, what's what's with Aaron Neville? It sounds like you're, ch- you're, you're changing the channel. <laughs> Pablo Francisco. Pablo Francisco yeah. has one of the most insane like deliveries he does a really good Lincoln Park. He does everything good. He Here does the, I go. <laughs> he does. He goes. What's with that guy in the movie voice? And he can make everything yeah. in the city. Yeah. He sold tortillas on the corner, <laughs> and the mob wanted in. I don't know who this guy is, but I want his tortillas dead. Yeah. He is such an insane, spastic person. I don't know how this guy never got famous. He did really good for a minute. He, he has, really did. Yeah. He was. He was cranking out comedy specials. Left and right for a long time there. He if, was. If we're going to go into that, I'm and pretty he, sure. He went on tour quite a bit. I'm pretty sure, you know, I mean, I, I'm just going to, you know, ball these guys into the Hispanic category. Out of the, all those big Hispanic comedians from that time. How did he not make it but like George Lopez or fucking Carlos Mencia did? Well, in their defense, though, I love both of those guys. Too. I do, I but agree. I think he's just way more talented. So there was a time period for whatever reason I just got super into the George Lopez show. Yeah, what's well, a great show? It, I, lo- I love George Lopez, but it I love his been... I love his stand up more than the show. But I got really into that show for a minute. You mean his sitcom or his the sitcom talk show? The sitcom. He's got another sitcom now. Yeah, I know. So I, mean, I know everyone loves George Lopez. It's just like if I'm going to lump those like Hispanic comedians that got yeah. famous, they both got shows around yeah. that time. Pa- Pablo Francisco yeah. got nothing. I loved Pablo. I have his stuff, his ones that he released on DVD back when uh, we weren't streaming. Yeah. And I was buying those. Right. I think he he is underrated, and I did not forget about him. I did write him down just in case. Um, but I loved him, man. For the longest yeah. time, I thought he was just the greatest thing. Spastic, wild, yeah. great at everything. Feed it some lettuce. Feed it some lettuce. Yeah. I used to love that. Easy <laughs> 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 Who ordered the? Hey, check it out! I got my liver pierced. Don't touch it, all shit. <laughs> what was this thing at Denny's when he was the stripper? Yeah. Who oh, ordered? I ordered some sausage. I ordered some sausage. <laughs> <laughs> he was so good. He, he was, was so really good. good. That's a good pull. That is a really good pull. I like that. I'm happy to end my list with him, but I wanted to end my list with somebody else, so I'll convince Robbie to go six. Cool. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking we go seven. Okay, well, <laughs> hey, we're all right, fl- it's official. We're going six. Let's go. We're flying through it. Fuck it. Do you want to just do seven? Sure, let's go. All right, All right we'll do right. seven. Who's your next? Who's your five then? I'm doing five right now. Yeah, yep. um, five and six. But this is your fifth pick. <laughs> oh man, uh, this is actually still going to be tough to narrow these down. I'm going to go for number five, David Spade. Okay, oh, okay, right. that's a good. Uh, right. I'm a huge David Spade fan yeah, in general. Definitely. He has a newer stand-up that's out. I don't he think does. it's Netflix. I, I think it's on Paramount or something. Um, uh, either way, I watched it. It was so it good. It was very good. I've never laughed so hard as when he started doing an impression of his mom's dog. <laughs> I I almost died. I was laughing so hard. I can. I wasn't alone. I was sitting here on the couch, and she, <laughs> she just looked at me, and she was laughing at me, laughing at him, <laughs> because I was just losing my shit. He was so good, man. And he was good then. He's good now. And I was there's a toss up between a couple guys I was going to go with, but you brought him up earlier, and I didn't say anything because I was like, oh, I don't want one of these guys to take him before I get him. But David Spade definitely has to be on my list. And of course, if you think about his movies like Tommy Boy and yeah. Black Sheep and things like that, he's got a podcast now. Yes, he does. Yeah, it's really fun. Uh, yeah. Him and Dana Carvey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great, I, I actually good. subscribe to it. I yeah. listen to it. And very uh, good. if you guys he are, he doesn't subscribe to the fantasy football, bro. I do actually. Bullshit. <laughs> I do. I swear. <laughs> Let's check the numbers. Um, but I'll tell you. Uh, he is in a newer movie. It's probably like a year or two old now. The Wrong Missy. 
I Netflix. love that movie. It's so good. I've never seen it's it. It's so Dude, good. Dude, you have to watch this movie. Yes, you it will is, piss your pants. It is very funny. And I got to say, I know everybody, you know, thinks like he's, he was Chris Farley's sidekick or Adam no. Sandler's sidekick. No, David was, Spade is is so good. So he'll be fine I mean, on he his was, own. He was Chris Farley's sidekick for movies. But you got to remember, he was in Just Shoot Me. Yes. For a long time, which is hilarious. He was in one of the funniest shows ever, Rules of Engagement. Rules of Engagement yeah. is one of my favorite it's, shows. I don't think any of us drafted that, by the way. Oh yeah, what the hell? Yeah. I love that that show and he and, and him and Russell and all of them. It's yep. so funny. So like, I love it. that's great. That's a great pick. That's a good pick. Mm-hmm. It's an absolute great right. pick. Well, what's round six then? Oh yeah, that's right. Chris Gullo is round six. Uh, are we gonna go seven? You said, you said seven. seven. Okay, then if we're going seven, then my number six is Mike Epps. Oh, oh wow. yep, Mike nice Epps. Pull. I love. He also has a, a newer one. He out. does. That's really. It good. is really funny. Yeah. Did you? Did you guys? That motherfucker could be canceled of, at any minute. Oh, yeah. At Epps any minute. And Cat Williams. Did you watch the the Snoop Dogg special? Of course I did. Oh my god. <laughs> that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Also, Mike Epps has a, a show on Netflix that keeps coming out with new seasons called The Upshaws. Yes. And it's so good. Man. He, I haven't yeah. heard of it. I haven't just thought of him in so long. Yeah. He's one of my favorites. He, he I have another, all his stuff on DVD. His, yeah, his new yeah. one is fantastic. Fantastic. He was another one that we sat down and quoted and, quoted and yeah. just anytime, anywhere, we were, whatever the occasion Throw was. Throw 20 down the feds is on yeah. it. <laughs> I, just, I just remember his one skit, I'm on everything. Yo, where you like, get that at? We painkiller cigarette speed. <laughs> <laughs> and, <there's any> <laughs> yeah. and I remember that. Like, I remember that. And then Eminem actually, Eminem actually like, used that in one of his yeah. beats. Yeah. I, I thought that was fantastic. I totally remember that. Like, he's great. I mean, what was he? He was in Friday, right? Yeah, he was yeah, in, he was uh, in the, 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 the second and the third one. He was one. in he was Hangover. Hangover yeah. He was the wrong Doug. Yeah. 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 He yeah. was Black Doug. He was Black Doug. Black Doug, that was yeah. it. Yeah, Not yeah the wrong quit it with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's a good yeah. wolf. Absolutely love Mike Epps. I, oh, where I, you get that at? <laughs> I stole it from Michael Jackson in there. <laughs> Go get your pit bull. Let's let him fight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, here's a comedian for me that I don't know if you guys know, but he's canceled. He's probably canceled. You want to talk about offensive comedian? This guy is one of the most absurd comedians I've ever heard. And, like, he takes it to a level which gets uncomfortable. Okay. Absolutely. I know who you're going to say. I think so, too. Do you think so? Yep. He's so offensive that he had a show on Comedy Central about being so offensive. And that's Anthony Jezelink. I knew it. He is He is so <laughs> ridiculous. He say, I, I love your skin. It'll look really great. Stretch over my lamp. <laughs> he is so <laughs> ridiculous. His dry ass delivery. He's yeah. so monotone. But, like, just everything he uh, kind of comes out of his mouth, I'm like, why did he just... Did he just say that? Some finish lines are never meant to be crossed. <laughs> he's so dry. He's just so, oh my God. Like, he's just somebody that I wish I listened to more. Like, his stuff. He's good. I had one of his CDs Very called good. Caligula, and it was so ridiculous. Yeah. And he, I That's mean, funny. the dude makes rape jokes. You know, the dude is All just, kinds of jokes, he just, yeah. He goes too far, and he's kind of canceled, but I don't know if he's really canceled. No, it wasn't. I like your skin. It was, what's that tattoo going to look like? When it's stretched out over my lamp. <laughs> <laughs> he's so ridiculous. I love him. He's like, he gets to the point of uncomfortable. I'm not familiar with him, but... He's good. He's, he's, he's dark. Very I'll uncomfortable. He, he, it's like... If it's uncomfortable, watching, yeah. Uh, it's, I'm okay it's a lot. That. It's a lot. I'm and okay it's so... Like, you, you have to be... So anybody who's listening who doesn't know who he is and they want to look it up, you have to be willing to go... In a dark place. And you need to understand it's comedy. It's a joke. Yes. Yes. Because I'm telling you right now, he will offend absolutely everyone yes. if you take it seriously. Like he's not up there dropping end bombs. Nothing like that. Just just some of these topics he's getting on and some of the things mm-hmm. he's saying is just like Bro, like, there's, it's probably on Spotify and all that stuff. I, because it was a CD I bought called Caligula. Like, it's just, it's absurd. It's yeah. absolutely absurd. And I wish I knew more of him. And I, it's just like, it's somebody like, I don't know if he's one of my favorites, but like this, but I just wanted to give him a little shine. And a little oh, that's love, fine. You know? That's fine. Love it. So, back to you. Back to me for two. Yep. All right. You're finishing this out. I am going to finish this out. My number six. I'm going to go with a guy. R.I.P. Mitch Hedberg. Oh, he was on oh, my list. Oh, wow. I knew he'd be on yeah, yours. Mitch Hedberg yeah. was one of the funniest guys. Yeah. Honestly, he was going his, there. His, his, his dry comedy and just the way mm-hmm. he presented it, just... An, es- he, an escalator cannot break. It can only become stairs. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw a duck walk into a store and steal a loaf of bread, I would let him go. <laughs> I, yeah, I love peace, it. Man. I love it. Rest in peace, man. He died way too young. Yeah. Way too young. He's probably in his th- he was, 30. Yeah, he was definitely in his 30s. Uh, <laughs> They're all gone. By love that. Mitch Hedberg. 
Yeah, Mitch Hedberg was actually on my list. I, I might have taken him. I kind of wish I took him over Jeselnik, but like I kind of wanted to give Jeselnik love. I, you know what? I'm going to go home and listen to Mitch Hedberg because I haven't listened to him in yeah. so long. Is I this, about is this it. draft like the, we've had the most crossover ever? Yeah. Like, yeah. Was, everything we've said, ah, oh, oh. I think we did, yeah. <laughs> I told Maybe. you that. You're like, no, we won. I'm like, what are you I thought for sure me and him. Yeah, no, I don't think we had too many, actually. Him and I had... It was spreading around yeah, pretty... Yeah, kind of all yeah. were like, oh, damn, oh, man. Well, who is round seven? Who are you having in your well, screen? I'm not going to lie to you. Your screen. Because I didn't write anything down because I'm a rebel like that. Damn, I had man. one in my head and I totally forgot it. Okay. And it was a really good one, so I don't remember what it is. But Do you want me to draft for you? No, actually, <laughs> uh, I, I, have a, I have a different one. Um, I'm going to go with... Brad Williams. I don't know if you ever heard of oh, Brad Williams. Oh, the little person? The little person. Oh. He, he is funny. absolutely hysterical. And I totally recommend you yes. looking and watching one of his comedies. But, dude, because he's a little person, yeah. it makes it ten times funnier. And the way he talks <laughs> he about do, it. He doesn't and he, care. He goes and, right for it. And he doesn't care either. He's another one of those guys that's, that's just raw and he'll tell it like it is and it is absolutely hysterical Brad Williams you're on the list number good. 7 that's All right. a good one you're yeah. going to get a lot of like comedy nerds and purists with that one yeah right? yeah yeah and I'm going to turn them all off here go because he needs to be on my list because he was one of my favorite comedians for about 15 years and that's Dane Cook nice and I know a lot of people are going to shit on him but you cannot put on Harmful with Swallowed and you cannot put on um, what was that next one Vicious called? circle retaliation Vicious circle, retaliation Th- that era of Dane Cook 98 to like 2005 I, it's one and then of the, he just shit all over himself sure. and fucking started to suck. Sure. I went to see him and I was like, "This is sure. awful." Well, because he kind of got clean and like politically correct. No, he was just reusing shit and just doing it in a different way, and it was just shitty. Yeah. If we're talking about those those whole eras, talking about Harmful like, of Swallowed is always going to be the best. Like, yeah, the, definitely. The, sir, you're going to see a guy in a yellow poncho. Yeah. He's going to take you to the Whopper layer. That His was name good. Is yeah. Hank, make it take a left. Yeah. And if you don't get there in ten minutes, we eat your food. Yeah. Um, I love it. Or, or um, when and it, the pickles <laughs> and the pickles. We use Can't, that in the yeah. fantasy football bros. Can't get in without coops. You can't get in without yeah. coops. Like, hello, hello. Why did the shark attack you? Were you taunting it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to go in the ocean sometimes <laughs> with a thing called the shark rocket, and I shoot it at them. And then I wade there, and they come at me. <laughs> <laughs> but I got this little swim move that I learned from the from the dolphins. I'm like a bottleneck. He was really good then. He was yeah. awesome. Yeah, like, he was that's the same thing because that's what I listened to in comedy. I, I seen him a few years ago. You're right. He wasn't as funny. Yeah. I was a little, little, little let down, but that era of Dane Cook, um, you just think about like a fucking tire hit her in the face. Yeah. Like the, his delivery kind of like. I wanted to say, sir, you're about to get struck by a vehicle, but all that came out was, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice Superman shirt. What if somebody came up to him and just shot him in the chest? Yeah. Ah, super bleeder. Don't wear the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> fucking super bleeder over here. So I absolutely love Jane Cook from that era. And I know the purist. I mean, it is a good pick. He was. It is. He yeah. was. He was young, handsome, on top of the world. And in the movie, arenas. in the movie, waiting with Ryan Reynolds. Yep. And in who Boy I of the month. absolutely love. Yeah. And, and in the Boy <laughs> of the Month. This is an '89 Honda. How dare you? <laughs> that was a good movie. Yeah. So like, that yeah, was, he, he was, was that um Jessica Simpson? Yep, yep. Jessica yeah, Simpson yeah. and Dax Shepard. Dax Shepard, Shepard, Dax yeah. Shepard yeah. So you know that's why a lot of people yeah, hate him because in like 2002, the guy's like 28 years old, selling out arenas, handsome as fuck. Like he's yeah. just like he yeah. was the rock star of comedy at that it, when we were teenagers. He was, yeah. yeah. He really so was. like to me, yeah. I love him. Like, yeah. All right. You know he, you know a lot of people shit on him just like a lot of people shit on say Andrew Dice Clay from like. A decade before. Yeah. Right? So that's just what happens when you're the biggest. So a lot of people shit on Jeff Dunham. They and do. these guys are selling fucking arenas. Yeah. You know? Like, that's what it is. It's like, it's just like bands. Like, a lot of people like us shit on you too. Me too? Yeah. <laughs> but like, bands like you too. Why? Because they're selling fucking stadiums. I was think they suck. literally just talking about this the other day about how you two, I, I will never own anything right. that they put out. I've seen them live and it was actually impressive. But as far as going out and buying anything right. that they put out, absolutely not. Right. So like Dave Cook and Andrew Dice Clay, those guys were like you two, like the biggest. Yeah. So everyone's like. Pfft. No, I agree. So that, that's the problem. But I love you, Dan Cook. So uh, welcome to the squad. Andrew Dice Clay was one that I was going to talk about with George Carlin. Like that was like a road paver and uh, Sam Kinison. Oh, yeah. Sam um, Kinison. Yeah. But those are not either one of my number okay. seven picks. So my number seven, I'm tossing up between two guys. I'm either going to go my childhood or I'm going to go my teenage years into now because he just had something come out during COVID. Or around eight. Or what? Or around eight. Uh, Adam didn't write anything down. That's okay. I'll figure something out by the time it gets back to me. It's your call. All right. I'm going to do them both. Okay. Around uh, eight. My first one is going to be 
Marlon Wayans. Okay, all Ooh, right. good one. I fucking love Marlon Wayans' stand-up. And that's not to put any of his movies down, because I love all of his movies, too. But his stand-up is so good. And it's still so good. And, I mean, if you watch anything that he did... 20, 30 years ago, it was just as good as it is now. Yep. This dude has been on fire his entire career. Another facial guy. Yes. Yep. 100%. Absolutely. And I love his movies, Haunted House and Scary Movie yeah. and like all that stuff. But like his stand up um, is, uh, is How so high, good. right? Wasn't he? Or no, it was Method no, no, Man. No, that was Method Man, yeah. Method Man. You got Method Man and Marlon Wayans confused? Yes, because <laughs> that was about the same time as Scary Movie. Yeah, you're right. So like yeah, I just, right, right. in my head, those were together, yeah. Shit, I keep You know what I was thinking of when he got smoked up? By the and, big yeah, player yeah, yeah. in Scary yeah, Movie. In scary movie That's yeah. what I was thinking yeah. about. How high? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm getting uh, high as shit in here, man. <laughs> I'm trying to think of... So here's the thing, though. Is I could still pick... I still have like a, a few more, but... Uh, oh, damn. This is tough. Um, do I want to put this one on my list or another one? All right. I don't want to go all in living color, guys, here. So... Uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to go with another musician. His name is Bo Burnham. Bo Burnham. That's a good one. He is That's fantastic. Good one. He escaped me. Good yeah. job. Yep. Good job. Take off your bras and burn them. Bo Burnham, burn them. <laughs> one of my favorite quotes from him, he, from Bo Burnham, is I met a fat chick and I fucked her in the elevator. It was wrong on so many levels. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like, uh, I got a dick full of helium. I'll fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's great. Yeah, he was one of the first original like YouTube guys. Yes, he was. Success. He's he's super funny. And even uh, in his one special, he just did haikus and he would ring the bell in between. Yeah. And uh, one of my favorite ones is, my aunt said, "Slow and steady wins the race." She died in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> he's ridiculous. That's a good. That's a good pull. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll I'll pull. I'll give him the the final spot in okay. my list. So. so the final spot for me. Got a couple of like ringers on here, but I'm just gonna skip it over to somebody that I used to like. Another guy that's very controversial. Another guy that's very open, including like sexually and about his like kinks and fetishes, mm. and probably canceled. No, because he's got a radio show. Um, and I'm going with Jim Norton. Oh, that's a good one. Jim Norton, Crank Yankers. Yeah, Jim Norton and Crank. Well, he's got he's on with Sam. Uh, what's his name? The guy that's always on wrestling, Sam Roberts. Yes, he's got that show. Yeah. He was always on Opie and Anthony. Um, but Jim Norton, <laughs> his monster rain fucking CD is so funny. And then he's very open about like his kinks. He's a real like perverse guy mm -hmm. and he talks about like women shitting on his chest and stuff it's mm -hmm. just the way he delivers the stuff he, he, what is he what did he i'm trying to remember this clip he's like he's like my girlfriend called me and she's like we're out of toilet paper what do i do he's like well is this a situation or are you knowing ahead of time she goes no i'm here i don't know what to do right now he's like i don't know figure something out you're 14 years old <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can't say that in 2023. No, like, that is fucking great. So, he's so ridiculous. And like you were talking about, my friends, my friend used to play this game. Me, my, me and this one kid used to play this game. It was called Monster Rain, and he would go like, "We're gonna run around and play hide and go seek." But we call Monster Rain. We go and we hide under under the patio. So he calls out Monster Rain, and we go under there, and I blew the fuck out of him. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? And it's probably true, unfortunately. Yeah, probably like, stuff. And he talks about like like I said, women dumping crow's nests of shit on his chest. Oh Jesus. Like, he is absolutely ridiculous to stand up, and some of the funniest like sketches on on like Crank Yankers and uh, and Opie and Anthony and Sam and Robert Sturge. Mm -hmm. Like, I know he's he's a lot. He is a lot. <laughs> he's yeah. a lot. We we've had a few of those that are though. Yeah, like Jocelyn Nick and him, but Norton's like Jocelyn Nick's meant to be offensive. Like, where I kind of believe everything Norton says. Yeah, you're, you're yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, but he's a big metalhead. Yes, he is. He he does that that metal show. Yeah. Well, no, so. no, that was Jim. That was Jim um, Florentine. Yeah, but doesn't he come on there? He, he might have. I thought he had like a guest spot on there. Am I wrong? Uh, he might have came on. Yeah. I, I remember another joke where he's like, I don't know. Women come over to my house and I got shit on my wall like uh, Black Sabbath getting inducted into the Hall of Fame and Kiss records. The, the, my girlfriend was like, why don't you put shit, shit that uh, I like up there? So I didn't know what to do. So I hung up a dildo and I'm like, huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I just think he's, he, he's great. So Jim Norton, that's, I like that. that's my final guy. Nice. Do you got a number eight? I do have a number eight. What do you got? So this guy I saw before... He was anything. Or he was just beginning to be something. Oh, we're getting hipster over here. Yeah, a little yeah. bit, yeah. I'm going with Pete Davidson. Okay. Because oh, okay. if you've ever okay. seen him live... Like He's I really have, good. He is yeah. hilarious. And his his comedy special is one of the funniest things I've ever heard. His delivery is awesome, and the way he talks about it is just 
hilarious. He, he is actually very good. And he's he is funny. very funny in everything that he does. I love it. Pete Davidson. Like he does. He, he looks young. Yeah. But guys, we know. we have twenty four comedians we talked about, and I still have honorable mentions. Well, oh, I, well, yeah, well, there's a ton you got any honorable mentions? Oh yeah, no, I of course one? I do. What you got? Uh, one of the ones that I I, I could have put on my list that I love to watch, uh, Mr. Fluffy himself, Gabriel oh, Iglesias. Yeah. That's a good one. I That's love him. One. He is hilarious. Chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so Adam, your list was George Carlin, Jerry Seinfeld, Jim Carrey, Burt Kreischer, Bill Burr, Mitch Hedberg, Brad Williams, and Pete Davidson. That's, That's a hell of a lineup. That's a good list. lineup. And yeah, you're on a bunch, and you're going with Fluffy. Yeah. Mr. Right. Fluffy himself. A couple of my uh, um, things that uh, I just want to mention is one other one of the funniest co- comedian specials, and I could have had it in there is Eddie Murphy Raw. Yes, I thought about Eddie Murphy as well. Yeah, fantastic. He was I got my ice cream. Yeah. You can I have some? <laughs> uh, a guy who I thought was like the second coming of Eddie Murphy, and he never got big. Talk about oh no, it's not a living color. It was Mad TV. Ari Spears. Ari Spears is fucking hilarious, and he does like all these great impressions as yeah. well. He does, yeah. He's actually really good too. I yeah. saw him. He was at, hot for a minute. Yeah, I, yeah. I had his one th- CD. I think it was called "They're Coming to Get You." They had like a rope around his neck on mm-hmm. the cover. I was like, "Holy shit, Ari Spears!" Mm-hmm. I saw him at Helium. He was really good live. He, Very I funny. love him. I love him. And then a couple of like ringers uh, that are great at stand up that doesn't get enough credit is Robin Williams and Adam Sandler. I don't like Adam Sandler, but yeah. Oh, Adam Sandler's stand up and his like audio CDs are fucking brilliant. And then. Uh, no, an under the table guy. I love this guy's podcast. I've listened to it for 13 years. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him, but if you have it at home, check out Ryan Sickler. I know you're talking about. Yeah, absolutely hilarious. So I actually like got my whole list. On. So what's your what's your actual my list? actual list is <clears throat> Dave Chappelle, Stephen Lynch, Cat Williams, Jeff Dunham, Pablo Francisco, Anthony Jeselnik, Dane Cook, and Jim Norton. All right. So well, let me let me do my honorable mentions before you run down mine. So. uh some guys that I didn't get to that are all from In Living Color were Jamie Foxx, okay. uh, Tommy Davidson, and David Allen Greer. Okay. I love all those guys. I just didn't want to have a very In Living Color heavy lineup. Uh, also, underrated stand-up, Tim Allen. Okay, yeah. Very funny at the stand Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know if you guys like him as much as I do. Oh, but, I love Tim Allen. Uh, yeah, so uh, those those were all my honorable mentions. I thought that those all could have easily, easily made my list. Oh, for sure. And then your list were Sebastian Maniscalco, Kevin Hart, Chris D'Elia, Jimmy Fallon, David Spade, Mike Epps, Marlon Wayans, and Bo Burnham. Take Sorry, off guys. Marlon Burnham. I think I won. Uh, no way. Before we do this, though, I have to read off Chris Gullo. So my buddy Chris Gullo is a stand-up comedian. He's very funny. Yes. And, um, you know, so mm-hmm. I, I asked him – originally I asked him for five because I thought we were only going to go five rounds. So these were his top five, and we'll see if you guys uh, – you know, you're going to be like, oh, I didn't think of that one. His first one was uh, Jim Brewer. Ah, oh, Jim Brewer's Good awesome. Yep. Yep. Uh, Maria Bamford. Okay. Some some lady representative. Yep. Uh, oh, that was my other honorable mention was Whitney Cummings. Whitney Cummings, uh, yeah. very funny. My lady, yep. Uh, or Sarah Silverman. Yeah. Sarah Silverman. Ellie Wong too. is hysterical. Okay. And uh, what was her name? Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. Yeah. Really good too, yeah. uh, Gary Gullman. Oh, wow. Yep. Jim Gaffigan. Yeah, Jim's great. And a very underrated guy for his last one, John Mulaney. John Mulaney. Very good. Yeah, he's such a... He's good, but he was so, he's like, good. a hipster, like... I love it. He yeah. was, yeah. John Mulaney was, is really good. There was, like, a time where, like, John Mulaney is going to take over the world. He's right on Saturday night. <laughs> he's got a sitcom with, with, uh, with Martin Short, and then it all went... Well, I'll tell you what, people who are listening, uh, follow Chris Gullo on, yes. on you know social media. I'm just looking up his Instagram real quick. Oh, it's actually just Chris Gullo, and that's G-U-L-L-O. So check him out. Not only is he a stand-up comedian, he's a professional wrestling ring announcer, manager. Uh, so he does a little bit of everything. Yeah. So check yeah, him out, man. It's at T-H-E-F-A-N-T-A-S what? Oh, oh, so fancy football, bro. Sorry, no, I don't even think I that's going. it, by the way. I think it's the it's the FFB FFB pod. pod. That's what it is. Well, Robbie, thanks for joining us on the Fantasy Football Bros podcast, and thank you guys for joining me on the All Bets Are Off podcast. Did you watch the Super Bowl? No, I was actually driving to Brooklyn. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. Right. It was actually a good game. It was a very good game. I was keeping up with it um, on the drive. I kept checking the score every chance I got. Did you win any money, Adam? I won ten dollars. I won a hundred because I was smart and bet on Kansas Chiefs. Well, I I had a feeling it was the Chiefs. I don't know what it is. Patrick Mahomes is just the guy. He's the best quarterback in the league. One hundred percent. Stand by that. And we're Josh Allen fans, but like, sure. Pat, Pat's magic. He's got something in him. I'm Patrick Mahomes fan. Okay. I'm just saying. That's fine. I love him. He's a great, dude. He's a great quarterback. Yeah. Absolutely I, yeah. fantastic quarterback. And even as I was driving, I kept checking the score. I wasn't even worried. When I saw they were down, I was like, nah, he's clutch. Yeah, he's good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
A lot, of, a lot of Bills fans hate him because he whoops our ass all the time. Yeah. Same thing with Tom Brady. We hate Tom Brady because he beat us for 20 years. How about you beat him then? Is, uh, is, is Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes the new Jim Kelly and Dan Marino? Yeah, that's one and two. I think so. Absolutely. It's one yeah, and two. I think so. And it's arguable who's who. Mm-hmm. Pat, I mean, Josh Allen has the better arm, but Patrick Mahomes is just magic. Yeah, yeah Patrick Mahomes, is he's clutch. Like I said, he comes he, in clutch with these does. plays. Patrick it's Mahomes might have the second best arm and the second best accuracy behind Josh, but he's just magic. Mm-hmm. But Josh is too, so it's like... It's they, weird. They both make plays. Yeah. The unfortunate part of the Bills game is that they just rely too heavy on him. That's tr- very true. So, yeah. of course, you're you're going to break down. Just mm-hmm. part of the game. Well, we're going to have some so. more football content coming up soon. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll get there. And Robbie knows nothing about it. But Robbie will... That's right. Uh, I'm going to have some more uh, rock and roll interviews coming that uh, I haven't name dropped yet. But they're going to be pretty good, man. Adam Van Houten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the no nickname, no nonsense. <laughs> He's releasing his debut rap album. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and that's what it's called, right? No nickname, no nonsense. <laughs> that's right. He's gonna, he's gonna tour and open up for uh, yeah. Eric Van Houten. Drops J- on Jelly July first. <laughs> and guys, uh, send us some of your favorite comedians yes. because I want to know if there's anybody that we all overlooked, including Gullo, like the the four of us together. Because what we got twenty four, he gave oh, us five. So, so we we, talk, we mentioned there's we mentioned so many more comedians out there that yeah. we. Well, I didn't think even mention. We got to end out with a skit or something. Oh wait! By the way, Dana Carvey is also one of my honorable mentions because his stand-up oh, is fantastic. He's insane. He's, insane. he's an insane. I mean, nobody even mentioned Richard Pryor. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we didn't go too old. Carlin, but Carlin was transcending. Yeah, for, for times, you know, you could have went old. You could have went even though he's canceled. Bill Cosby, he was a great stand-up yeah. comedian too. Well, like Fox. I said, Sam Kinison. Yeah, Sam Kinison. You know. So we need to end up because this is Fancy Football Bros podcast. We always end in a song. Oh, okay. So why don't we pick a Stephen Lynch song? Sure. Um, why don't we go with um, hmm. Dr. Steven? You want to go with Dr. Steven? Yeah. Okay. That's it. All, well, right. all right. So this is the All Bets Are Off podcast and the Fantasy Football Bros podcast all in one, ending with Stephen Lynch, Dr. Steven. Thanks for joining us, guys. Make sure you subscribe to both of us. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Peace. Later, guys. See ya. I'm a rich and famous doctor Always thought I'd be An expert in the field of Gynecology Next on my agenda Checking your poo tender Let me see what I can find If you get your nerve up Slip inside the stirrup Single thought will cross my mind I love I've got magic fingers The doctor of the year There's not a lip that I can't read A pap that I can't smear When your legs are open I begin the groping But I fear I must be blunt I would just as soon not Go near your balloon Not think that I'll stick to your front Thank you. I would never say cunt to an audience. <laughs> Ever. The preceding presentation has been brought to you by the Gear Network.